So the important thing about the Household Waste Recycling Act uh, 2003 was that it led to even more local authorities implementing collections of uh, recyclable waste from the doorstep of the household or in the case of blocks of flats from uh, central facilities that were provided for the whole flat. Um, but for me, the important thing was that um, we were actually moving very much faster along the road to where many of our European neighbours had been going. Mm, uh, particularly, yeah. um, I'm thinking here of Germany, where uh, they have implemented a uh, progressive system of uh, collections of recyclable waste, um, including all the packaging waste, and uh, in particular, the light material such as uh, plastics and uh, aluminium and steel cans. Mm -hmm. Now for me, um, actually collecting those lighter items um, is very important because of the issue of embedded carbon. And um, if one looks at the wider perspective of the move away from landfill, then you've actually got um, a good mechanism for uh, converting more uh, waste into uh, usable resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are, of course, um, still existing requirements for us in the UK to reduce the amount of waste that goes to landfill, and recycling has an important part to play there. And uh, although obviously there's other things that you can do with waste, such as um, incineration with energy mm. recovery, mm. Um, you only want to use that in the case that you can't actually mm. recycle exactly. material. Exactly. So yeah. for me, um, we've got a very important mechanism that uh, you introduced to encourage all local authorities to undertake doorstep collection. And quite often these days, um, it's done using um, wheeled bins. Now for me, the uh, development of the wheeled bin, which was first used uh, to collect residual waste, was very important in health and safety terms. Absolutely. Because one of the problems that we've always had in this country is that people end up with injuries yeah, yeah. as a result of yeah. picking up black sacks yeah. that have got glass in them or sharp objects yeah. of some sort and giving themselves yeah. some injuries. So uh, for me, overall, if you look at the uh, development of uh, our waste collection infrastructure, the uh, use of wheel bins has been very important and now we're using them to collect most recyclables. The thing that I don't like is the fact that uh, quite often local authorities are collecting glass. Yes, along with mixed. paper and plastics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you end up um, unfortunately contaminating quite a lot of the other recyclers mm -hmm. with uh, small pieces of glass. Mm -hmm. That is something that I think um, needs to be dealt with separately, but um, that's just my opinion mm. from long experience as uh, the one-time uh, chair of the Local Authority Recycling Advisory Committee all the way through from 1984 to 1996 um, when I joined the Environment Agency. Well, I agree with you that uh you know, it's not been um, an entirely smooth path and there are better means of recycling and indeed there's more money to be made if you can offer a pure product. Yeah. Um, so of course um, quite a few local authorities collect their paper and cardboard separately to ensure they don't get the glass Absolutely. contamination. And then of course you've got these big murphs where they have to go and pick all the different things out of the, off the conveyor belt. So. But it's led to a, a huge new industry, to a lot of jobs, to a lot of things.